Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Priyanka. So today we have a special guest and that's Dr. Roma. Yeah. Hello everyone. This is my first time uh, that I'm uh, uh, doing something in association with Priyanka. I'm really glad doing this. I am Dr. Rama Vagmare. I'm a radiation oncologist. Uh, so I practice in Hyderabad. Uh, so uh, I'm here to talk about breast cancer awareness. Yeah, and she is also a patient title holder. She was Glam on Miss India 2019 first runner-up. And I think that's very inspiring, not just for all of us, but even for medicals who are actually interested in pursuing something like this. So congratulations on that. Okay, thank you. Like, uh, this is uh, just to demystify the... Of uh, what you call misconception among people that doctors are really boring. I want to break that myth. Uh, so somehow late, but I definitely I could at least prove that. So I'm happy doing that. <laughs> so glad to hear that. Uh, so uh, getting back to the topic. Uh, so we'll be talking about breast cancer today, and earlier also we've spoken uh, briefly about cancer, and we also had a video with a gynec answering your question. So she'll be telling us uh, a little bit about breast cancer and. Uh, uh, a lot of other details like symptoms and uh, you guys also posted some questions on Instagram so we can just begin. So uh, why specifically breast cancer people must be asking this uh, doubt uh, because see breast cancer is one of the common cancer I mean it's the most common cancer among women worldwide and it is the second most common cancer related deaths which happen because of cancer after lung cancer. So this is something uh, which people should be aware of what exactly this is and how uh, at what stage it can be identified and what, what are the initial signs and symptoms for that. So uh, WHO has taken an initiative uh, uh, for uh, making this October month as Breast Cancer uh, Awareness Month. So what are the risks of uh, breast cancer and what are the early symptoms uh, for us to identify that? Okay. Uh, risk factors like uh, when it comes to ca uh, cancer for that matter not only breast cancer specifically of late what is happening we are like more proceeding towards westernized, uh, westernization our culture is more getting westernized so because of that what is happening are there are like lot of lifestyle changes happening because of that there is a uh, uh, what do you call there's a lot of obesity among people and there's like lack of physical activity there's been a lot of stress which leads to many other uh, uh, what do you call health uh, uh, health conditions like there'll be diabetes hypertension and other hormonal problems all this also are more or less directly or indirectly related to cancer so when it comes to breast cancer specifically the we can tell uh, it can be like two types okay. like modifiable risk factors and non modifiable risk factors okay. so under modifiable risk factors what falls is this obesity is one of the Things which are uh, under our control, under our control, control we which can. we can do uh, i mean to prevent uh, ourselves mm -hmm. from uh, getting okay. into trap of this uh, cancer okay. so it is uh, and uh, stress relief mm -hmm. okay so it's like you need to have proper diet, proper exercise, maintain a good lifestyle, get proper sleep and uh, avoid bad habits, uh, alcohol, drinking, all these are like uh, associated with cancer. Uh, Non-modifiable uh, risk factors are what, uh, they are like more of genetic, okay. So everybody must be uh, like aware of Angelina Jolie when it comes to breast cancer. She was the one like a couple of years back, uh, a breast cancer thing came into highlight all over the world. So she was detected with a mutation in her uh, genes mm -hmm. because her mother was diagnosed of breast cancer. So she also got a genetic testing done. So it means that if there is like already a hierarchy, especially on the maternal side, if somebody has okay. been affected with this, like your mother or your grandmother, maternal grandmother or in that uh, lineage, there are like more chances that you also could be okay. uh, getting, the, getting this in the future. Mm -hmm. So there can be genetic testing done for that and accordingly there are like measures we can okay. be taken. So that is something like which is not under your control. Right. Uh, what are the early symptoms uh, through which we can probably be diagnosed or we should be worrying about? So breast cancer, it presents with very basic symptoms. It is like uh, most commonly women will well, have a lump in the breast which will be painless initially. They can be lump and uh, they can be redness in the breast. They can be discharge in the nipple, in and around the nipple, uh, nipple area. Or they can be like you see orange, orange skin appearance of the breast. More or less gives the appearance of that orange, orange skin texture. And they can be discharged, they can be bloody discharged, they can be pus. Uh, these are the basic and in 90% of the cases, 
a breast cancer presents with a painless lump in the breast. Is the early the earliest symptom is that? Okay. Uh, so that uh, follows up with the question about self diagnosis, uh, for which uh, I believe you're sharing a PPT, which we can uh, link it. Probably yes, yes, we can do that. Uh, so uh, you guys can actually go through that attachment. It is women who who, uh, who are like responsible for their own health, so they have to take take charge of their own health. If you like, you know your body better, so you examine, you will know it at the earliest stage itself. So breast cancer, when diagnosed in a very early stage, it is curable. In uh, stage one and two, it is like it has ninety percent cure rates. As the stage of the cancer increases, the cure percentage decreases. So here comes the obvious need that people should be uh, like yeah. aware, like uh, how to, uh, like what to do, what not to do, and uh, like in this breast uh, self examination uh, video or attachment, what you would be seeing. If you find anything like uh, which is like not normal to you, you know your body better, right? So you think that that is not normal. Please go consult a doctor. Next, what can be done? The physician will do. Okay, I think a lot of us uh, shy away from that. Um, both uh, about self examination yeah. or even if you're worried about a lump or something yes, else yes. so we are a little worried and shy away from actually going and seeing a doctor yeah so. see what happens is uh, like india has been a, a developing country okay there's been like so many advancements since it has developed to a lot in the last like 2 3 decades but then when it comes to this cancer i don't know this somehow this cultural yeah. and the social taboo still attached and when it comes to this breast cancer especially yes. Like women, even when they come down to my clinic, they're like worried. They're like worried. How would their husband, mm -hmm. husbands react? How would the family people react? Few women even like fear. Uh, they have that fear of abandonment. You know, like if they get to know, they'll be yes, they'll uh, uh, throw me out of the house. They'll, they'll be like, I I would be disconnected from people. So with that fear, what happens is even when a woman knows that something is wrong with her body, there's something wrong with her breast. Still, she wouldn't be like uh, coming out or opening up. So I just want this misconception, uh, misconception, uh, whatever is there, mm -hmm. that to be like uh, what do you call go away. I want everybody to uh, know this fact that breast cancer it is not related only to a, a female. Uh, it is not gender specified. Okay, even breast cancer incidences occur in male also. Okay, so breast cancer is something uh, which can uh, be there in males and females as well. Uh, but then the thing is that the percentage of breast cancers in male it's like really less. It's like hardly around two to five percent. But yes, okay. male breast cancers okay. do exist. I think most people are not aware. Yes, I so uh, I was not aware. Either. So I want everybody to come over and like get to know things. Any kind of queries or anything, just please uh, drop in your comments or your. Questions and make sure that everything. All her details will be there in the description box, and I'll pin the comments so you can reach out to her or you can get an appointment and actually go see her. So that was all about breast cancer, and now you guys also like some questions, so we'll just start quickly run through them. So I think people have this uh, question: um, if deodorants actually cause cancer? So this actually is like nothing proven or something, okay. but then yes, that is like surely not natural, right? It is something like a. It's a chemical, so anything which is like a, a, a chemical or a, which is like artificial, it's really not good for the body. So minimal usage would be better. Not oh, okay. Does it help taking vaccines for cancer? Yes. Uh, recently, there have been vaccines uh, discovered for cancer, but uh, for breast cancer, there are no vaccines available as such. We have vaccines uh, which can be taken. A normal woman can take that is uh, there for cervical cancer. There is documentation and literature proof mm -hmm. on that. Okay. For other cancers, it's still in the research phase. There is a question about like about the undergarments what a woman wears. Like, is that also related if the ill fitting or something that leads to breast cancer? I want to say that. Or whatever the undergarment you wear, that has to be like breathable and it has to be a proper fit. Otherwise, there'll be like uh, uh, there'll be problems with the circulation. Mm -hmm. So I don't say that it lead to cancer, but then definitely but, uh, you will end up with issues okay. because uh, because of ill fitting mm -hmm. and uh, because the because of the circulation being compromised. Oh. Many people have asked about this this question that what are the earliest symptoms of breast cancer and, uh, and what would prompt one to get checked. So, what are the earliest symptoms? Like I've already mentioned, it is it's a painless lump, and uh, how to do the examination and how to get uh, like we have already mentioned that we mentioned in the comment uh, section. This is the most common question: What is the life span of a cancer patient? So here comes uh, uh, like people have to know that.
cancer has four stages. So the earlier the cancer is diagnosed, better the cure hmm. cure rates. Okay. okay, so early stages better cure rate. Advanced stages, the lifespan is definitely going to be less. So yeah, that's the reason that you are trying to create yes. awareness also. So at what time should the breast self examination should be done? Okay, and who should do the breast self examination? So it is from the age of twenty. Okay, okay, from the age of twenty, every girl. Should start doing breast right. self examination, okay? And then at what time of the month uh, it has to be done? Uh, it is at the end of periods, okay? Okay, at the end of when your periods end, after that one or two days later you have to do because there will be like a lot of hormonal changes right. happening. Mm. So because of that, what will happen is even uh, some uh, because of that hormonal changes also there will be some differences mm. in the breast. So that can be like misinterpreted as a lump. Yes. So to avoid all those mm. at the end of periods when the breast uh, the uh, what do you call it is in a normal, normal it doesn't have any hormonal influence it has to be done at that time and monthly ones that should be enough and uh, anyway you'll be uh, knowing how to do it and also accordingly next step. That can be taken. So I was wondering if the risk factor is higher for uh, women who do not conceive, women who are not married or do not have kids. Getting married at late age. Okay. Okay. Having kids at late age. Okay. okay. Getting married above thirty, after okay. thirty, and having kids after thirty-five mm -hmm. years of age. These are these are the things which are like they more risk. These women oh. are at more risk, mm -hmm. and women who do not conceive mm -hmm. uh, throughout their lifespan, they are also at increased risk, risk for. Uh, breast cancer okay. but the only precaution is that you examine yourself That's you right. you like take some time for yourself mm -hmm. like uh, ha, maintain healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. do something for yourself and when it comes to like identifying please do self breast examination if anything mm -hmm. abnormal you find please go visit the clinic get yourself checked mm -hmm. and it's sorted so i would like to say that at the end before concluding uh, that Women above forty, they should like make sure that they have to like visit the clinician okay. from the age of forty at least once in a year. They should okay. come down to the clinic and get yourself examined. Though you do not have any, any signs symptoms. and symptoms, okay. but please do come down to the okay. clinic and get yourself examined. Like how we do other regular checkups? Yes, if we yes. Do this or yes. Or this or is or like uh, pretty much available in any center in any hospital. You can go to any general physician, or if you have any uh, cancer uh, hospital nearby you. Or else, like if you're like in Hyderabad, uh, you can uh, you know my details. You can come down to me for any queries. So the social stigma that is uh, something we already spoke yeah. about that is attached yeah. around cancer, around breast yeah. cancer, should uh, just stop, yeah. and we should all yeah. uh, take care of ourselves and should not worry about what people would say or how it would affect our relationships and all that, and get ourselves checked because health is the most important thing. So yeah, thank you so much Dr. Rama for giving us your time and talking about breast cancer and spreading awareness about it. Yeah, it is my pleasure actually getting in uh, uh, touch with uh, people, like uh, getting a step closer to more people yes. because of Priyanka, really uh, I'm grateful to her and uh, looking forward uh, for any health, uh, health issues or you want some videos to be done or any mm -hmm. queries related uh, uh, to health. You yeah, can please, please uh, leave, comments. leave your comments and suggestions are also welcome. And uh, you are planning to start your channel soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm planning to do that, but that'll take time. Until then, I'll be associated with you. <laughs> yeah, and I'll leave her Instagram handle as well so you can find her there. So don't get confused. Apart from being a medical professional, you'll see the other side uh, of mine. So please do not get confused. I'm sure it's me or like. <laughs> I'm sure people will enjoy seeing yeah, that. You side. can see both versions of me. So do not mistake me that uh, like it can be somebody else. That's me. Okay, th thank you so much again uh, for being here. Yeah, my pleasure. So hope this video was useful. Do tell us in the comments below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And we'll probably come back again uh, for any follow-up queries that you guys have. Okay. See you guys. Bye. See you guys. Bye.